Alrighty then, hello and once again, good evening YouTube, and welcome back, welcome back to some more of this game, this game called NASCAR Heat 3. Last time, we had to do a lot of stuff, but, oh, you're gonna love this, we're in the chase! It's a miracle! Who could have seen this coming, and guess who's not, guess who's not in the chase? Oh yeah, oh yeah, bitch. Bitch, bitch. Um, anyway. <laughs> We're in the chase by some act of God. I've managed to make the chase in NASCAR Heat 3, but it's not over yet. Good Lord, it's not over yet. We have a three, count them, three for nail races to do in this episode. We need to do Canadian Tire. Can -na 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 -na. We need to do Canadian Tire. We need to do Las Vegas, as you can see in the corner, and also... We gotta do Talladega, and I wanna win one of the two races that I in this round before Talladega, cause, oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. I believe Corbin has ran exactly one race at Canadian Tire. He, he did have a passport, as it turns out, and he was not on the no-fly list. Thank goodness for that, but that was 2015 when he was driving the 08 truck, and I'm pretty sure he was close to getting lapped at one point if you wanna an idea of how that race went for him. He was faster than Mike Harmon, though. He was indeed faster. Faster than Mike Harmon, but, you know, not much of an accomplishment. Anyway, Canadian Tire is pretty fun in these games, if I remember. I used to really enjoy coming to Canadian Tire in these games. When they were doing the, uh, like, the E-Series, like, preliminary stuff, there was a... One of those races here, and like, oh, look at this shot. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Just cool, casual Corbin Forrester. Cool and casual Corbin. Cool and casual Corbin. KKK. There we go. Brilliant. Fantastic. That is the name of this episode. Yeah. We have, um, setup balance already put in. I really should practice for this, but I won't. <laughs> Let's go to call of mine. <laughs> this should be good. Yeah, I don't even remember, like, the format for this track. We've been, It's been so long since we've been to this track, dude. And it's still not on the schedule, isn't it? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, dearie me. Okay, we're gonna have to probably downshift, too. I'm gonna have to uh, know when to downshift and when to uh, just continue going in the same gear. Oh, my goodness gracious. This should be a fucking... This should be a fucking good time right here is what this should be. We're back to not running on a custom setup, by the way. Oh, that was an exclusive for the previous episode. Okay, all right. I know this corner. I know this corner all too well, so we're fine there. Okay, great exit. There we go, dude. NASCAR. <laughs> now, what the fuck is going on with the rear view mirror? I try to fucking just look at the fucking sign back there and the shit's just fucking flying all over the place. My goodness, we haven't even started the race and I'm already breaking shit out here. Okay, oh god. Yeah, I know this track all too well. Fucking core made this a staple of the schedule because there's so many Canadians. Oh, in the series. So, oh doggy. Okay, it, it's, a, it's pretty tight. I'm able to make some pretty strong, um, Changes to my oh fuck okay well I always forget how fucking tight this turn is all right so we've lost probably about a half second from that yeah we want to stay in third gear around these corners I do remember that I remember that from core we don't want to upshift in certain spots we want to just kind of roll with it baby just roll with it oh my goodness I'm not doing a good job driving this track. So, when you go to a road course, the approach to the track completely changes. You want to be, oh, oh god, you want to be, I, it's very difficult to explain what you need to do on a road course, but you want to carry as much momentum through a corner as possible, but you also want to be on the gas as early as possible. You want to uncrank the wheel, you want a straight line. But you also don't want to give up too much on entry because you're just leaving speed on the table. And this is especially difficult in like actual real racing because when you slam on the fucking brakes, you completely lose like any and all grip. 
Oh, goodness gracious. So you want to keep the steering wheel tight, and you want to not downshift to... You want to be in as high of a gear as possible. But you... Just so that you can maintain, like, the fucking, uh... Okay, 10. Just so that you can maintain traction. There's a lot... Oh my god, we were two seconds off the pole. <laughs> I mean, I know I lost a lot in the first turn, but goddamn, I didn't know I was doing that bad. Okay, we are starting 10th, so no one in front of us failed inspection annoyingly. Crafton misses the chase, and the first thing he does is go out and put it on the pole. Okay, Snyder is at the back. Crafton's got the pole. Well, good for him. Okay, and I am Corbin Forrester. Fantastic. So, now the mentality of these races has completely changed. Over the course of this season, I have wanted to win every race, and I have failed to do that at every track except for one. So now... Now the goal shifts to beating the people in the chase. Yes, I'm sure everyone watching this uh, playthrough, this is definitely their first foray into the wide world of NASCAR chases, so they definitely need me to explain this to them. Oh my fucking goodness, okay. Oh, 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 bad times, bad times. Okay, actually, everything's fine. We're in it, we're in it to win it. All right, great first corner. I can't imagine what the caution probability at a track like this is going to be, especially under relaxed yellow. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Looking to the inside. Oh my goodness, let's go. Good speed, good speed. And now we also have to worry about fucking pit road. Ugh. I have no idea what the stage lengths are going to look like. Okay, so we got the chase people highlighted on that leaderboard. That is pretty fucking convenient. That's some good stuff right there. I appreciate that greatly. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm fat! Coming through. Three wide middle. Three wide middle. We're making it happen. Oh, we've got some good speed, though. Ooh. This is the first stage, though, so they're going to be lower on the AI difficulty scale. They're only going to get better as the race goes on. Got to remember I need to break in this corner and not wreck. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Oh my goodness. Phil Swift here. Looking at the number seven truck around Canadian Tire. Okay. All right, this is good. This is good. We're in great shape. I mean, oh, I would like to be a couple more positions up the leaderboard. Nemechek's in top spot. Okay, Nemechek leads. Boy, let me fucking tell you, I didn't even think of this correlation until, like, a couple of weeks ago. C can you believe that Cole Custer, after all these years, when Nemechek and him had their amazing finish, I will fucking die on the hill that says that this was actually a great finish and one of the best finishes in NASCAR history and a great uh, showing of, like, fucking, you know, driver skill and stuff, and I will always maintain that John Hunter Nemechek did nothing wrong. However... <laughs> Isn't it interesting that Cole Custer got the last laugh over that kerfuffle, and now he is an Xfinity champion. Meanwhile, Nemechek has struggled to close in literally every series that he has been in. Oh, we'll see what Nemechek does now that he's in the in the Cup Series again in a probably question mark. I don't know. By the by, the time this is uploaded, we'll know if the uh, 42 is competitive in 2024, so I guess we'll just leave that to the, uh, leave that to the imaginations of the, uh, future. How's the future, everyone? It, did, did someone that's not a joke of a driver win the Daytona 500? It's only been a long time since that's happened. Michael McDowell is, like, the best driver to win the Daytona 500 in the last three years. What does that say? He really does have the most... Well, actually, no. Stenhouse has three career wins, some fucking how. Hey, maybe by the time this is uploaded, he'll have more than three. Wouldn't that... That would probably be the biggest surprise, you know? Not, like, an actual, like, driver with, like, a fucking resume winning the Daytona 500. I feel like it's more likely Stenhouse gets another win before that. Anyway, we are not doing good. Nima, Jack, and Moffat are driving off. And there is a Matt Crafton growing in my rearview mirror, as it turns out. We have lost multiple seconds to the top two. But that's okay. We've still got a lot of race to go. This is only the first stage. This shit's been longer than, like, most of the other fucking races that we've done this season. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Oh, I'm just so used to rev matching or whatever. 
I'm just so used to listening to the fucking sound of the, uh, engine and going like, Oh, well that's a pretty high RPM sound. Probably want to shift. Oh. Now as it turns out, I don't want to shift. Oh god. Oh my goodness gracious. Calamity. Calamity has struck the fucking leaders. Okay, Brett might have just dumped John Hunter Nemechek for the lead. Oh, on the final lap of this stage. Goodness gracious, that's a Cindric moment right there. Fuck me. Brett, what are you doing, bud? I love you, Brett. How could you fucking do this? I can't love a Cindric. Ugh. Okay. Ooh, we're sliding. Ooh, we're turning right. Ooh, we're going in a straight line. Ooh, and we're not wrecking. Okay, what's the tire life looking like here? Oh, it's not good. Oh, dear, the tire life is not great. Yeah, it's been better. So, I'm assuming that even though this is a clockwise track and the left side tires wear more than the right sides, I'm guessing we can only pit for right sides and not left sides at this track. I have to assume that's what it is. I'm gonna take four. Regardless. Okay. Alright, not bad. Not bad first stage. We went from 10th to 2nd, but we don't have the fucking closing rate. I don't want to finish 2nd. I would prefer winning this race and not having to worry about Fe or, uh, Talladega or Las Vegas. Alright, live results for the stage. Okay, stage is over. We got a lot of stage points. That's gonna help us out so much, you have no idea. Bailey Curry out here getting some stage points. Okay, um... Oh boy. Um, I'm just gonna take everything, and I'm gonna lower the left side. Uh, well, actually, don't I want to raise the left side? Because that's the side taking the most, uh taking the most stress? I don't know. I probably just ruined this setup. Anyway. Um, yes. Pitting, I've lost a spot. That's annoying, but it's okay. I probably lost that due to the repairs. Repairing the car was probably more important than uh, anything right here. Alright, speed is indeed happening. Let's go into the first turn and not drive off the track. Oh... Crafton is not in the chase. Him winning would be 100% okay. So would Endfinger. I would rather Brett did not win this race just for the sake of the chase. But I would not be opposed to it. He's like probably way out ahead in the chase points as it is anyway. Don't let me forget to look at the replay and see if Brett actually dumped Nemechek or if it was just a self-spin. Because a lot of times when it's that much smoke, a lot of times when it's that much smoke, it's just the guy dying. Okay, I was faster than Crafton on the entire previous run. Can we maintain the spot ahead of him? The crowd is very... The Canadian crowd! A huge fans of Corbin Forrester. Who'd have thunk it? Alright, we're in the lead. Oh! Um... <laughs> I think that has something to do with the sign, actually. It's pro it probably does have something to do with the sign, or just like the geometry of the racetrack. How that happens there. It's a terrible spot for that to happen. Okay. Alright. Taking a hard right. Okay. So you want to carry as much momentum you can into the turn, but you also don't want to overdrive the turn. Just getting on the gas as early as possible. Getting on the gas at the apex is generally regarded as the correct way to get around the road course which is kind of what I'm doing at this exact moment, and you can see I'm pulling away from second, so I must have done something right there. Every leg spike is another opportunity for this game to screw me over. See, now I've completely missed this corner, but it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. We just need to survive this two. How many laps are left? Five on the fuel, and it's a four-lap stage game. Yeah, okay. Fuck, I forgot the ship button. It's all good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is hunky fucking dory, actually. Just calm down, Kamikaze. You, you don't need to fucking throw away this race. Everything's fine. Oh, this corner is also very deceptively tight. I think the... I think the radius closes as you go through the corner. Oh, Brett's coming. He's all over Crafton. Oh, we might see another dump yet. Ooh, hopefully it's not me this time. Turn! Okay, we're looking good. Very cool. Oh, what a fantastic turn that was. Yeah, we gained, gained a shit ton right there. And you know, unfortunately, due to the structure of this chase, the only round that actually matters for fucking bonus points is this one. 
as the next one will have, you know, bonus points from this stage and the bonus points from earlier in the season. But like once you, you know, if you, if you have, if like the final round is a really good round of three races and you win all three races, well, I mean, you can win one race and you're on to the final four, but like the rest of the races literally don't matter. Very good for the driver that wins the fucking first race of the round, let me tell you. But, like, if you win the first race of this round, sure, you're advanced to the next one, but, you know, any more bonus points that you get to just carry your ass through the chase is good. Okay, this race seems very winnable just as long as I'm smart and do the game and not be stupid. Fuck me, Brett is closing. It doesn't help me that I did an awful shift there. Yeah, he's closing. He is closing. And suddenly the uh, furnace turned off. So it's very quiet, awkward silence as we close in on the final. Couple of turns, turn into the right, on the accelerator, using the grip strip. Surprisingly, grip is not killing me in this race, which is incredibly helpful. We're not getting fucking yoinked around because of these fucking curves. It's actually helping me turn the truck more, which is nice. Stage winner! That is another stage win. Can we actually close in this fucking race? No one knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Alright, so everyone's pitting. We got seven laps to go, so... I probably want to take everything. I mean, just out of fucking, yeah, precaution, I'm taking everything. Okay, we did not lose anything. Alright, beautiful. Alright, we should be able to make it on fuel for the rest of this race. Please and thank you. Alright, acceleration. We've got six to go, so longest stage that we've done yet. It's just a matter of survival, really. Side by side, up the hill, and we're in the lead. Alright, just gotta survive. And we've got six laps of fuel, so basically, hmm, interesting. Okay, I don't know if we're gonna have to pit during this stage. That would be scary if so. Okay, I have no grip. Never mind, we're fine. We're driving off, we're driving off, kinda-ish. Okay, just a matter of a survival. Survive! We just gotta survive. And don't cut the course, because I don't think that penalty exists in this game, but, like, it's not worth the risk. Oh, my fucking goodness, Jordan Anderson really is fifth. That is what's happening in this fucking race. Yeah, oh my god, my fucking watch is doing that thing where it fucking vibrates every two seconds. But yeah, this seems to be pretty fucking rudimentary. It's just fucking nailing the ships and not overdriving. Not overdriving. If anything, underdriving is a good thing. If anything, underdriving is a good thing. Alright. Great job underdriving it, KG. Yep, everyone is very impressed by this. Holy fucking shit. Wow. What a great turn that was. Literally after five seconds after you say, Oh, fine if you don't, don't overdrive it. You just gotta underdrive every corner and you'll make it through the final! Yeah, shut up, fucking dumbass kamikaze. No one takes anything you say seriously anyway. You're just a fucking bullshitter and everyone knows it. Everybody knows it. Alright, it's all good. Yeah, the upshifts here are fucking vital and also not giving them the draft is fucking vital. So there goes a second of my lead. Great work. Just a fucking smashing job on that lap. Oof. And no white flag is out, and I am literally just not overdriving it. We're gonna be fine on fuel, right? Yes, a hundred percent fine on fuel. And literally all I'm doing is just being smart and not overdriving it. And we're driving into this corner and we're letting it coast all the way through. Beautiful. I've started driving off from Brett, actually. This is a... Then a rock-solid fucking steady improvement. Rock-solid steady race. 
I'm sorry that this episode is not going to be as exciting as some of the previous ones, and we're just gonna, you know, be able to just exist in the in this chase and not have to worry about winning Vegas or Talladega. But I am not, I'm actually not sorry about that, as it turns out. I'm actually 100% fine with that turn of events. Anyway, I just literally need to survive one more turn, or two, three, technically. And we are good to go in the next round of the chase. So let's just come through here, and let's just get on the brakes for this one. Get a little bit loose, nothing to fucking write home about. And we're coming to the line. Bada bing, bada boom. We're moving on in the chase. Thank you, God. Oh, the music. Yes, fantastic. Fantastic music. I guess we'll do a burnout. Okay, hell yeah, dude. We're making it happen. All right, very cool indeed. I wrecked the truck. All right, well, maybe we don't do that. Oh boy, here we go. Good camera angle. No, he just fucking lost it. He just lost it by himself. Brett wasn't even in the vicinity of the motherfucker. Look at this. He was already wrecking, like, all the way back here. There's just no way to get a good view of it, unfortunately. So where did Nemechek end up finishing? Like, he's not even in the shot. What the fuck? Where did he end up finishing? Do we know? Do we know where he finished? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, we could have gotten a... Like, mm, These are some interesting camera angles. Yeah, here's... Yeah, Brett's not even close. Look at how far ahead he is. M man was already fucking wrecking... Already wrecking into the turn. Fuck. Jesus. All right. Not Brett's fault. See, I should have. I should have known there was no way that Brett would ever cause such a cataclysmic incident. There is no chance. He is a man of honor. Oh baby. Oh baby. Hopefully we don't fail inspection because of that wreck. Anyway, we're advanced. <laughs> I could cry. And Dalton Sargent with his two wins is out, and the Nima chick is out too. Oh my goodness gracious, that is not at all the trophy that would have been for this race. But it's all good, I ain't complaining. Look at this absolute piece of art truck. Man, oh man. You know, it really is just surreal that Corbin was included in not only this game, but two other games. No other era could you have imagined that just some rando backmarker truck series driver would end up in... A video game in the NASCAR video game as an official part of it not a fucking NR 2003 mod but the official fucking game it's surreal for me to think that like especially when he only ran two entire races with the waters 5 truck in 2017 wasn't it 2017 pretty sure he had, he'd been featured in the Cobb zero more recently than in the Waters 5, and they fucking added that shit. Vegas! We don't have to worry about Vegas, because we're in the fucking chase. We're advanced in the next round already. Hell yeah, dude. Let's see if I can't rectify the performance from earlier this season. Now, here's another good race. Vegas. <laughs> Corbin was running top 10 on the final restart. And then he finished 13th, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's frustrating that he never got a career high in this truck because he absolutely should have what the fuck is this on my floor it's glowing is it a fucking federal agent look at that shit it's 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 got a fucking reflective surface it's a piece of plastic of some sort hopefully it's not important because we're going to vegas so viva las vegas viva las vegas viva Yes, I had to do that. In case you were wondering, that was a requirement. You know, I think it's stupid that the truck series goes to any track twice. Any single track twice. Vegas twice. Fucking bitch-ass Kansas twice. Texas twice. It's like, what the fuck? Is there not enough tracks? Is there not enough fucking short tracks for these guys to run? No, it's gotta be all these fucking boring-ass, shitty fucking mile and a half tracks like we can't eh. I was gonna say we can't even go to Daytona twice but even that's stupid I think now if they ever finish the California short track that is an absolute must for the truck series they should go to fucking where else dude like fucking uh 
Oh, it doesn't turn. Oh, it doesn't turn. Perhaps I should have taken out some wedge. Perhaps I should have moved up on the, uh, uh, the, uh, on the, on the setup scale. Alright, into this corner we go. And a good qualifying lap, for sure. No doubt about it. Yeah. At the line. Seven! I think that's the same exact spot that we qualified in the spring. Oh, Austin Hill's up here. It's never a good thing when Austin Hill's up here. Okay, I am gonna slap on the seven loose. I do believe we're gonna do seven loops. Seven loops. Seven loops. It doesn't really matter what we do in this because we're advanced, motherfucker. Tanner Thorson's been struggling all weekend. Oof. Oh, crafted fed tech. Now they've decided to cheat up the truck. Oh, yeah. I forgot Chase Purdy was in this game. It was a much nicer, uh, much nicer time when I was unaware. Have a good day. Uh, if at least momentarily. Anyway. Green flag is coming out. We are shifting into second. We are going to the inside of the slow three trough. And we are going to make it three wide into the first turn. Always love making it three wide in the first turn. Oh, I'm pulling a Rhodes on Rhodes. I'm pulling a Rhodes on the fucking master of being a bitch himself. All right, good shit. What the fucking speed, dude. How about that? Seventh to second in the first turn. They said it couldn't be done. All right, Johnny, Jonathan, it's time to settle this mono a mono. Who is the superior? Um, is there any similarities between Sauger and Corbin? It's time to see who's the best driver no longer racing in the truck series. That absolutely should be. There we go. Beautiful. Fantastic. Yeah, there is no excuse for Johnny Sauger to not be racing full-time for someone if he wants to be racing full-time. Man's got a past champion provisional, right? That doesn't even matter anymore. Now we got the past winner's provisional. Oh my goodness. Someone who's won a race a single time in this fucking series takes precedence over, like, just being fast. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Good stuff. Really makes me happy that Endfinger won that Daytona race and fucking, uh, Jordan Anderson didn't. Anyway, we're advanced, so this race doesn't matter, but it would be fun to win this and have extra bonus points going into the final, uh, final round. So yeah, that's basically my mentality. You know what's fucked up? This is the first time that I've put my PS2, like, together since August, is to play this. And yet, there is a new Sonic DLC out that has Tails as a playable character. For the first time since Sonic 3, Sonic 4, Episode 2. I forgot the fucking number system there. It was the one number that doesn't appear in that game was 3. And I picked it first. Sonic 4 Episode 2, first time that it's a playable Tails, and even then, it's only in multiplayer. Only in multiplayer. But like, you know. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that there is a playable Tails in a Sonic game, and I have not even opened the game. This is the first time that I have put my PS4 together, ever since. And it's to play NASCAR Heat 3. Goodness gracious, we had Corbin Forrester as a playable character in the game three times before Tails. What does that say? Fuck me. Anyway, we're driving off with the relief, but it is the first stage, so it really doesn't mean much. We did have almost green flag pit stops earlier this season at this track, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to learn how to do that. We're gonna have to learn ourselves that one right there, that's for sure. Anyway, we're still in this race, and yeah. We're still in this race, and the stage is almost over. Yeah, I've kind of run out of uh, topical conversations for the year 2018. I think the worst thing that ever happened in my life already happened by the time this race happened. Actually, hold on. I got the fucking, I've got the fucking season stats page pulled up. Vegas was in September. Yes, it absolutely had. In fact, it happened all the way back at Michigan. Interesting. All right, we should probably pit. Let's just take the usual. <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it? Is it a good time for me to mention what the worst thing that ever happened to me was? Can we like go into detail? I think most of the people that have uh, 
been want that the most the people that watched me in high school, or at least from my high school, most of them probably have stopped by now. Or like literally don't care at this point. But like Yeah, the worst thing that ever happened in my life happened on August third. Or fourth, one of the two. I don't actually remember. <laughs> It was one of those days. First week of August, 2018. And yeah. That was a real sad time. Could you believe that the worst thing that ever happened in my life was a sad time? Oh, what a fucking top five this is. <laughs> Good lord, dude. Good lord. Yeah, it's interesting how the tracks where we just have to go fast and turn left are the ones where I'm doing really good besides Daytona. And I say that as we completely blew that corner. And then we go out and win the road course with the most turns. Yeah. One road course race in the truck series was a mistake. They should go to at least two. <laughs> at least two. Come on. Five to go. Five to go. And none of this fucking modified pit lane bullshit. No, I want green flag fucking pit stops in my fucking trucks series road course races. That's what I want. But I never get what I want. Case in point, look at who I'm playing as. Yeah, was it a good decision to hitch my fucking uh, horse to the uh, guy that had basically no prospects? After doing fuck all in Arca? Corbin's best fucking car that he ever drove was the Cunningham 22. He got to drive the Cunningham 22. But you know where he drove it at? Fucking Talladega. <laughs> of all places, he decided that that was the race that he was going to get the Cunningham 22. Nowhere else. Not like fucking Kentucky. <laughs> Kentucky would have been a great track for him to get the Cunningham 22. Nah. Nah, he, he gets it at Talladega. A rain-shortened Talladega, no less. Now, was Corbin supposed to have clairvoyance? Was he supposed to know that that race was going to get rained out? No. No, there's no way to know that. But if I'm fucking a developmental series goddamn driver, and I have the opportunity to go to a Cunningham, just go to Cunningham, you know, was that car fucking, uh, I know it was the, uh, Oh, did it get renumbered to the, I think it was the 22. I don't think it was the 77. I'm pretty sure it was the 22. The 77 was the championship winning car, but like, this is, this was pre, that was fucking, what was that, 20, 2012, I'm pretty sure. 2012, I'm pretty sure he fucking had that shit. Cunningham wasn't a top team by then, but they were definitely good. They were good. They weren't a top team, but they were good. I would have fucking taken that, I would have taken that vehicle. Corbin never got to race for Venturini. Now, that's what should have happened when he was fucking, you know, existing in the uh, truck series as a Toyota team. Should have at least gotten, like, a singular opportunity. Would have been cool. One lap to go in this, uh, event. Yay. <laughs> yippee ki yippee i -O. Good stuff is happening on this day, let me tell you. Yeah, this race was pretty good. Pretty good. I'm pretty sure, uh... Someone that sucks won it, though, so, you know. I could look over at the uh, racing reference page that is open to my right, but is hidden by the microphone. Anyway, um, yeah. That's Sage 2 complete. What the fucking do? Oh, Endfinger won this race. Oh, shit. Oh, that's good. Nice. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Alright, so I think we're pitting and taking everything, yeah, because we're going to have to pit during the actual run anyway, so may as well take everything. I like it when it's a no-brainer. Mike Harmon is 10th. Have a good day. Uh, Mike Harmon is 10th. Fantastic. That is indeed what is happening. Alright, so I just got to be smart. Just got to block these guys. Don't let them pass, or otherwise I will never catch them again. Easy video game. Easy video game. Keep the inside covered. But keep the outside covered, too. Alright, we should be good to go until pit stops. See you then, friends. Austin Hill's up to third, ladies and gentlemen. It's, he's coming. 
He is a coming, and so is Justin Halen. So that's annoying. I'd rather him did not do that. I'd rather me just exist in the lead and be happy. Yeah, I don't think Corbin was actually that good in this race. He just, like, tire strategy helped him restart in the top ten. Like, that was the only thing that kept him up there. That was a bunch, like, there was a late wreck, and, like, a bunch of guys took tires, and then they all passed Corbin. <laughs> Who probably didn't even have fresh tires to begin with. It's unfortunate. Man. I, I, I'm telling you, dude. Like, I'm pretty sure I, I... I don't know if I mentioned this last episode or not, but, like... Uh, this is... I miss Corbin. I miss every weekend, you know, just waiting for the entry list to come out and seeing if he was going to be on it or not. And then just, like, throughout 2020, just waiting to see him pop up again. Never happened. And now I'm just, uh, honestly, still to this day, still to this fucking day, I'm like, I'm still holding out, like, you know, fleeting fucking hope. But the dude made his career last way longer than most guys, like, in his position, with, like, absolutely no backers, absolutely no prospects, absolutely no hope. Yeah. You know, I don't know if it's safe for me to reveal this or not, but Corbin actually told me he was approached by Mike Harmon. Mike Harmon to purchase, like, a stake in his team. So basically, you know how CHK is CHK now? After last year, the Harmon's been trying to pawn off his, you know, half his team for, like, a while now. But, it, you know, no one ever, you know, had the fucking, you know, lapse of judgment to actually take him up on the offer and tell whoever the fuck CH, whoever the C and the K and the CHK, whoever the fuck they are decided to take him up on that offer. <laughs> yeah. I miss Corbin so much. And like, I haven't connected with any driver like I did Corbin. Like, Greg Van Alst. I gave him some money to, you know, have a sponsorship in Vegas, or Phoenix. Pretty close, I was in the right geographical area, but like, that was, you know, nothing compared to like... Me and Corbin would talk after every fucking race, dude, and like, after 2019, 2019 Talladega. I know Talladega is the next trick, but can I talk about 2019 Talladega for a second? Spencer Boyd was working with Corbin at the end of that fucking race. And in the 11th hour, man, um, with like three laps to go, you know, they were starting to build momentum, and then Boyd just abandoned him. Like, I don't actually remember if they had an agreement to, like, work together at the end of that race, but, like, you know, they were working together to stay in the draft until the final lap, when they were both closing down, I don't fucking know, I think it was out of turn four into turn one. Spencer completely bailed on Corbin. I was just out of fucking memory. And then he won the fucking race. It's like, man, Spencer Boyd is awful. He's just a terrible driver. And him being a truck series winner is the funniest shit. But man, man, man. I still think, I still think about Corbin, dude. I still have dreams of Corbin appearing on an entry list and like doing a run, and doing a qualifying run or something. I, I still think about it, man. It's just such a, it's just such a fucking painful memory, dude. Painful. Like he wasn't going anywhere. His career was not going anywhere. After it was it was over after 2019, dude. The, the team was building. 2018 was a very rock solid foundation, and they were building. They gained a little bit in the off season between 2018 and 2019, and then he just fucking destroyed the best truck in 2019 at Texas. And it's like I don't know. There wasn't even anyone he could blame it on. He just fucking lost it in the turn. And like there was a bunch of people that were wrecking in that race. And a lot of times I think, man, if he had just not even entered that race, if he'd just gone to a different fucking track. If he'd just gone to a different fucking track, please no speed. Okay. 
Um, okay, so one can equals six laps. I'm going to take rights only, and we're going to hope that this is enough. We are going to pray that this is enough. It should be, hopefully, enough. I'm going to just hope. And we had Haley coming in behind me. And because of the way that this, you know, pit lane works, the cutscene happens, you're all the way, you like, lose a couple of fucking, uh, you lose a couple of feet. So you're already slower coming into the pit lane just by default. Okay, coming out on the track. I don't have control over this, this camera. Okay, he's all over me from behind. I'm gonna LePage onto the track. Safely and securely LePage my way onto the track. Very cool, very cool. We are, in fact, ahead of the 18. Get, get fucked, I'll talk. Get fucked. This is why I'm... I should really, like, change my cell phone provider, because AT&T is just... Yeah. Alright, we're making it happen. How many laps to go? Green flag pit stops uninterrupted, by the way. Uninterrupted green flag pit stops. Four laps to go. We are not in the lead. Rami Lyons is... Nope, we're in the lead. Alright. Big man, big W. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Listen to that crowd. Listen to that crowd. They know what's up. If I can hang on, we're going to be the first three-time winner in 2018. Coming alive at the most important time, when it mattered the most, Corbin Forrester's team rose to the occasion. Doug George rallying the team. We're making it happen, though. We still got to survive for three laps, though. But, you know, I think Corbin was always the perfect driver for me because he talked absolutely massive shit to everyone on Twitter. He didn't take a fucking sh He didn't take shit. Like, I related so hard to that. Like, I didn't even know. I didn't even know that was his personality. I, I, I'm sorry I haven't mentioned this yet, but the entire reason that I'm a fan of Corbin Forrester, I have a video on the channel. Um, I, the entire reason that I became a fan of Corbin Forrester is because going into the 2015 truck season, I knew nothing about the truck series. I didn't know which drivers to like and which drivers to dislike. And when Daytona was on, I kind of joined, like, midway through the event. And there was a, tr there was a breakaway of trucks in the lead. And when the race went to commercial, it flashed up the top five running order in their mug shots. And there was this guy with long hair who was like a little weird looking and I was like who the fuck is that on my screen and it came back I only caught the name Forrester actually I don't even think I caught the name I think I just saw the number and then when it came back on I saw 08 Forrester and I was like that's my man that is gonna be my man in the truck series what a fucking mistake that was anyway I think it's the last lap I think we're about to win two straight races oh yeah oh yeah we just won two straight races, and only had a 104 speed rating. That's a shame. Anyway, um, burnout. Yeah, dude. Yeah, buddy. Hell yeah. This, this right here is my man, right here. Man. I miss it. I miss it so much. Having something to care about every fucking weekend. Having a reason to tune in. Even if he wasn't going to accomplish anything with this career, dude. Even if he wasn't, it was just fun to fucking watch. <sighs> Race win number three on the season. I am not using fucking setups. As you've seen, I am not using setups. As you have seen, I am not using setups. I'm just using lessons learned from previous instances of these races. These nuts. Alright, we've got two wins. We are double locked into the next round. <laughs> And now only Talladega separates us. Uh, and then it all went downhill. And then it all went downhill. Yeah. Anyway, um, here's the points if anyone cares. Sergeant's out. I mean, barring Nemechek or Sergeant winning at Talladega, they're out. And that's your, uh, that's your six moving on right there. Damn, Nemechek got screwed hard. Well, no one to blame but himself. We did prove the, the, the evidence, the tapes don't lie. Brett was innocent. Uh, Talladega. What is there to say about this race that I haven't said yet? Just the fact that Dalton Sargent got fired and they put fucking Timothy Peters in the 25. 
That was the first sign that this race was going to be a disaster. Can't I, I didn't like Dalton Sargent. In case you're unaware, I did not like Dalton Sargent because he was an absolute embarrassment in the Arca series and Austin Terrio blew him out of the water for the championship in 2017 and he had no fucking career prospects. Meanwhile, do nothing Dalton Sargent got the fucking uh, 25 truck, so that was annoying. So I don't have any, you know, favorability to the Sargent family. <laughs> None whatsoever. Okay, let's do setup two. Let's do setup two. But yeah, fucking, uh... And then I had to str I was gonna do live... I, I love doing truck series of Talladega reactions. That's like... That's like my second favorite stream to truck reactions at Daytona. You know? And I was on my shitty laptop that was like the fucking biggest pile of shit you've ever seen. So the stream was absolutely abhorrent in quality, but I wanted to do the stream because I knew that this was Corbin's best chance of having a good race for the rest of the season. This was absolutely his chance for some sort of, some semblance of success. And he was up there at the end, and then all talk, no talent, had no fucking talent, and self-cleared in front of literally fucking everyone and destroyed another one of Corbin's trucks. You know, the usual. You know, all talk, no talent being an absolute fucking hazard. Some things never change. An absolute menace to fucking society. In general. But in any case, we're qualifying a Talladega, which is boring. So, I will not make you sit through any more of it. Yeah, and then Timothy Peters won, even though if they... See, like, they decided to throw the caution in that race. You know. That race, they decided to throw the caution. And instead, racing back to the line, Wendell Chavis would have won that race. And it would have probably... That would have kicked off the fucking trend of stupid winners at Talladega. Even though Peters was a pretty stupid winner in fucking retrospect. Considering how he fucking ended up in that truck to begin with. May as well be the same shit as like Moffat in the 34 truck. Or even like Chandler Smith nearly won the fucking race in the 25 truck once again. For a different team obviously. But like, you know. Still. Still. Fucking still. Would have been a nice bookend. For uh... The last, what is that, fucking five years, five years of stupid Talladega winners in the truck series. But no, it had to destroy Corbin. Corbin couldn't get through that fucking wreck. No, sir. No, he had to get destroyed and finish, what, 16th? Stupid goddamn ass shit. I think he finished, uh, maybe 14th. I don't know. All I know is I hate this fucking race. At the line, we have qualified. 29th! Hey! That was effectively pointless. Woo! I love when things are effectively pointless. Who's in the poll? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sounds good, bitch. Oh, we're starting 26, actually. Sorry. Never mind on that. Wendell Chavis crashed in qualifying. <laughs> what are all these people doing crashing and qualifying at the plate tracks, dude? What year is it? Oh, my goodness. Everyone's starting in the way. What the shit? All right, well... <laughs> Yeah, including me. Everyone including me starting at the back. Alright. We just need to survive, dude. We need to survive. Well, I don't actually need to do anything in this race. I would just like to have a good run in a plate track for once. Well, that's just where I'm at. Anyway, this is a very illegal uh, start to this race. We've broken many rules. Go faster, damn it. Oh, boy. Oh boy, we're chunking along here. Man, Peters, you need to go faster or some shit because holy fuck. I don't want to make any legal passes. I want to, I want to do this race legitimately. Alright, we're making it happen though. We're making it happen. This is a very realistic pack race. I will say that much. Okay, four lap stages. Better than the two lap stages earlier this season. Yes, I am aware that I'm basically replicating history right now by pushing Peters all the way to the front, but, like, it's not worth the risk to... Oh, my goodness, look at this dude blocking me, matching me stride for stride. Goodness gracious, the AI is picking up on shit here. Oh, 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 okay, everything's fine, everything's fine, actually. 
Everything is 100% okay. We're going to make it. We're going to make it through. Hey, Jude. Don't make it bad. Take a slow qualifying effort and turn it into a top 10. And the bump drive thing isn't even making a difference. They're faster than me on the outside. That's cool. This actually reminds me of iRacing at play tracks, where the inside line just kind of sits in front of you and then you have to try and make moves on the outside. Yeah. Brings back uh, not good memories. In fact, quite the opposite of good memories. Fucking hate plate racing. I was gonna say in eye racing, but like I also hate plate racing just in general. Okay, Peters, can you give me a lane? Thank you. That does. That is not an illegal move. His fat ass was sitting in front of me for an hour and a half. I mean, anyone else would have made that move right there. Let's be honest. Let's be honest, guys. Come on. Fuel is good. We're probably not even gonna have to pit during this, or we'll probably have to pit actually. All things considered, here because. We'll probably be able to make it on one stop between uh, now and the end of the stage, or the end of the race. So, like, staying out for stage two would probably be a big mistake. Alright, speed, please and thank you. Oh, boy. Alright, this race is going way better than Daytona did. You can tell that I've got more experience and or it's easier than fucking Daytona. For some reason, for some reason, in all these NASCAR games, Talladega is always so much more easy than Daytona. I've never understood what it is. If they just copy-paste like the AI characteristics from uh, from Daytona and they just don't take into account the fact that like the track's bigger by like a minuscule amount, so like they just drive slightly slower around here for some reason. I don't know what it is, but like it's just easier. It's easier. Race at Talladega than it is at Daytona. Okay, I would like to not be on the outside line for this restart. Something tells me I don't really have a choice here. Yeah, a lot like it. Anyway, that's that stage done. Exciting. Thrilling. Even. I don't even go as far as to say very cool. Yeah, no one's pitting. I mean, if we pit now. Ooh, that's only 10 laps of fuel, and yeah, no one's pitting. Alright. Yes, I am going to be included in that no one group. <laughs> Very cool. Ooh, ooh, we're pushing them out of the way. World famous Comic Cons games, Bump and Run at Talladega. Yeah, that's something else that I could mention. Remember in Core, when we raced in this game, and like I wrecked someone, but like, I, I had to do what I had to do, dude. I did some bump and runs at Talladega to make up spots, and that was the only fucking way that we were going to ever be able to make up the spots. And then there were some very hurt feelings during that race. I had to make a Twitter apology. I had to make a multi-page Twitter apology over that race. And, like, thinking back, I'm like, man, that one, I didn't have to apologize for shit. Anyway, Cody Coughlin's up here, huh? <laughs> Never a good sign when Cody Coughlin's at the head of a pack at Talladega. Oh boy, Gillen's just giving up the inside. That's a fucking decision. Now my question is, do I want to be in the lead or do I want to be in second coming to the light? Because, I mean, we got the run right here. But, like, I'm not close enough to make it happen. Like, oh, actually, he's giving me the lane. Okay, Gillen's just like, nah. Nah, you can have the spot. It's all good. It's all good, bro. Very cool indeed. Very, very cool. Oh boy, okay. Everything's fine. Everything is fine, except Cody Coughlin's in the lead. That is a fucking big one waiting to happen right there. Wouldn't be the first time that, that a two-truck destroyed the field of Talladega. That's for sure. Anyway, why are you riding the middle lane, Coughlin? Can I have some draft, please? These guys are driving around me on the outside because I have no draft, and Max McLaughlin's my only help on the behind side. On the caboose, if you will. Yeah, we kind of hit a brick wall of pace up. Oh, no. All right. Well, see ya. Wouldn't want to fucking be ya. Here comes Timothy Peters to just get underneath me because I wasn't clear. Fuck off. Why? Why? 
No, no more passing me. All right, well, tires are actually pretty bad. So that's interesting. Are we gonna have to take four tires at Talladega? Yikes. That's a scary prospect. All right, well, I guess we're about to find out. Because it's pit stop time. Pit stop time, pit stop. Oh, we're not gonna be able to make it on fuel. Uh-oh. Green flag pit stops at Talladega in the truck series. Oh. Awooga. That's a scary, scary thought right there. But hey, I'm finally restarting on the inside in this race. Goodness gracious. Here we go. We're making it happen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're making it happen. Oh, baby, baby. Push it real good. Because we've got no speed. Look at this. Oh, my God. End finger makes it three wide middle. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. That was a decision. Yeah, this is why... I Okay. What the fuck, end finger? Give me a lane, bitch! Holy fuck, dude! What the goddamn shit, man? End finger's desperate for a win, I guess. Jesus. Trying to save his fucking career out here. Thor Sport's gonna drop him for not winning. Not like they haven't done that before. Fuck. Anyway. Endfinger's had how many multi-race win seasons? And he keeps getting dropped from every fucking team? So fucking dumb. Man, oh man, Sergeant is meeting the rising to meet the call of duty, it must be said. Cause here he comes, he's trying to fucking race his way into the next round. I'm glad that I don't have to worry about that. I'm glad that I do not have to win today. Oh my goodness, here goes Sergeant into the lead almost. Oh my goodness. Wow, what an actual set of circumstances this is. This is indeed happening. Oh. Uh, I just can't get any closer than this. Okay, caution's out. Alright, well. Half a can, no tires. That is my ultra decision. We're gonna add tape. Because hopefully that'll help us close in on these fuckers. Okay. And I have, I have gained spots. We're in the lead. Okay, and just like that, we're in the lead. Now, this is bad, because now i got to manage two lanes of fucking traffic to stay up here. Okay, here we go. Speed is indeed happening. we got plenty of fuel. Upshift, three to go. Indeed, three laps to go. Okay. This is how this race actually should have gone, by the way. This is how this race would have gone if they didn't fire Dalton Chargon. Definitely. No doubt about it. No doubt in my mind. But this is exactly how this race would have actually played out. Okay, so we've got a bunch of management to do now. Because this fucking outside lane is going to come like a bat out of hell. They're already closing. Who dog is that Robbie Lyons I see making moves? It sure is. So we got Sergeant and Peters up here. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, I mean, I gotta hold the bottom. That's the, oh no, oh no, fuck my ass, don't do this. Ugh, oh, son of a bitch! Oh my god, we've got no pace. All I've done is screw over end finger. Okay, um, alright, well I should not have done that. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Alright, well here comes everyone still. Can you fucking stop? No, you can't, alright. Looks like we're dying. Arrow damage, yay. Still hitting the wall. No caution, now caution. Guess we'll pit. Guess we'll fucking pit. Cool, how many spots can I gain in two laps? That is what we're gonna find out now. Okay, Sergeant is not gonna do it. He did, he fought valiantly, but today was not Sergeant's day. What a shame. And I think, I do believe that is Brett that is hung out. Oh no, that's... Johnny Sauter hung up and on the outside. I see the safe light truck nestled firmly on the inside line, peeking out, looking to make a pass. I don't think I don't see that. Don't think I don't see that. Oh god, who's the leader? Who's the fucking leader? Alright, last lap. Next flag ends it, I think. You never know. It is a, it is a 704 game. Yep, that's uh, Robbie Lyons up there just leaving the inside wide open. Yep. Yep. Pretty much. 
pretty much, actually. Yeah, that is pretty atypical of this shit, honestly. Another caution would be nice, because we might have another restart, because this game's broken. <laughs> caution, please and thank you. No? No caution? Can we, can we cause a caution without wrecking myself? Probably fucking not. Well, you win some, you lose some, and we're going to bookend this season's uh, plate races with two 27th place finishes. Fucking phenomenal. Guess who won, by the way. Uh, shit game. Somehow a 103 speed rating, despite fucking uh, not lifting at any point that entire event. Yeah, that is exactly how this race would go. That is exactly how this race was. Friesen's out. Friesen is out. That is mm, interesting. Tom Gillen with the fastest lap. Alright, well, see, I'm glad I didn't have to win that race. Fuck me. Anyway, we have advanced in the chase. Do we get a cutscene for this? Hey, we got a cutscene. Woo! Everyone is very excited and pleased by this fact. Alright, well, it's Martinsville time. It is absolutely time. There's our uh, settings. This hasn't been touched since, like, race three, by the way. Alright, so we're looking pretty good here. Pretty good here. If we win Martinsville, we don't have to worry about Texas or Phoenix, which is preferred. Definitely preferred. I am happy with how things are, except I'm not. Look at this fucking... Look at the spread, though. All the other two-time winners. Bunch of two-times winners in this shit. But fucking a freeze and sergeant missed. But it's all good. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been more Kamikaze Games playing um, NASCAR Heat 3. We'll see you in the next part where we tackle the round of six. Oh my goodness, everyone's really excited. Where we hopefully just win Martinsville and don't have to worry. But something tells me it won't be that easy. See you then. Bye. Come on! Die! What is it gonna take? Someone die! Not me! And then that. Then, then just that. Stupid. Yeah, this is exactly what a tournament would be like. I was about to, I was about to get very mad. Never mind, I still get to be very mad. Uh, rubbing! Grinding! Banging! Cuddling! Fuck you! Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one.